Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about one of my favorite sharks and probably one of your favorite sharks too, the great hammerhead. Here are three things you should know about diving with these miraculous animals. Number one, great hammerhead sharks are easy to work with. We can spend a lot of time in the water with them. Really, we go through a long dive briefing training before we get in the water. We know what to expect from the animal. Now, here's the one thing about a great hammerhead shark. Usually it's off the coast of Bimini, and off the coast of Bimini, you also have bull sharks. And really, so when you're filming the great hammerhead shark, you have to know that there's gonna be bull sharks in the water with you as well, and you have to be mindful of those. But the great hammerhead shark, very beautiful, peaceful animal. They can turn on a dime. They really can turn on a dime. Because they are a ram breather, which means they have to keep moving to breathe, their mouth is slightly ajar and their teeth, you can see their teeth. But it may make them look scary. I remember even, even the dive manuals had a picture of a shark and would say danger. And it just, when you're in the water with them and you're professionally trained to spend time with them, it's one of the most amazing experiences you could have. Even a night dive with the great hammerhead shark is just, it's just fascinating experience. So people ask, are they, are they aggressive? No, they're not really aggressive. They're curious because they really want to know where the smell of bait is coming from. And that makes them curious, that keeps them around us. They, you can get great approaches. A lot of videos I've been posting recently about the great hammerhead and dives we made with them get a lot of reaction. Some people say, well, why are you diving? It's not smart. How can you spend time with this creature? It's so dangerous. In the international shark attack file, when it comes to the great hammerhead sharks, there have been no recorded fatalities from that animal. There have been instances, 18 is what the international shark attack file says, but again, may look scary. And, and look, these are big predatory animals. You have to be mindful of that and you have to treat the animal with respect. You cannot just jump in the water and say, oh, okay, I'm gonna go spend an hour with the great hammerhead. So I remember my first dive with the great hammerhead was 2007. We were off the coast of Bimini, we were at the surface, and a great hammerhead shark approached me. And, and I was just completely blown away by this alien creature and the fact that I could be in the water with it, and the fact that all this information I had been told about sharks growing up was largely wrong. It takes a lot of training and a lot of preparation. We do not take this for granted. Let's talk a little bit about baiting the sharks in. Really, underwater, if you're a diver with a big underwater breathing apparatus, a great hammerhead shark is not going to want to see you. They're going to want to avoid you. That's why we use the big crate filled with bait to bring the great hammerheads in. The person by the bait is a dive master, and his job is really to keep the great hammerhead shark away from the bait. So that's why you see the great hammerhead shark come up and he gently pushes the shark away. Great hammerhead sharks are very easy to work with and I've worked with a variety of sharks. They're, they're fun to watch. You really never get tired of looking at that hammer and the shape of the shark. It makes them just, just such a fun shark to dive with. You know, let's talk a little bit about the visibility. In some of the videos, you do see a lot of sand in the water. That's because when the sharks are there, we want to be with them and maybe it's low tide and that may make for a murkier dive. A beautiful, and there's always current. There's always current in Bimini because that helps get the bait, the scent trail out there so the sharks can follow it back to where we are. So usually we're in pretty strong current when we're diving with the great hammerheads in Bimini. We typically want to be at high tide because that's when water visibility is at its best, kind of on the way to high tide. We can get that beautiful clarity to spend time with great hammerheads. We can stay in the water for hours with them. In fact, usually because it's shallow water, about 25 feet down, we return to the boat for batteries for our cameras or for air for our tanks. Working with these sharks is beyond amazing. Number one, and I think this is the reason people get so curious about the great hammerhead, 
is a look at this creature. You could say it is the most advanced shark out there. It moves like a jet fighter. And the one thing, when one passes you closely, they are impressive, they are big. With the right atmosphere, bait in the water, and team, you can spend many, many hours with this shark. This is a great animal to work with. I love the great hammerhead shark, great, great, great. It's, why do you think they call it the great hammerhead? Because it really is a great shark. Here's the most important thing to remember about the great hammerhead shark. This animal is critically endangered. That means it could be gone in our generation. And it would really be a sad loss to such a fascinating animal in the ocean. I believe that putting these videos out there and letting people see this animal will encourage them to want to protect it. And again, that is the whole goal of making these videos, whether it's a tiger shark, a great hammerhead shark, or any other shark that we work with. We want to make sure people fall in love with the animal and are prone to protect it, because if we can do that, we've done our job. So thanks for your questions. I love your comments. If you like the video, please hit like, please subscribe. I'm George Schellinger for the Shark Task Force. We'll see you next time because why wait a whole year for just one week on sharks?